Family and friends gather tonight to remember one-year-old Anastasia Zuber sharing sadness and frustration over her death. The girl's parents, David Zuber and Monique Romero, have been charged after police say Anastasia and her two-year-old sister were left alone in a bathtub. News 13's Chris McKee was at the vigil tonight and spoke to relatives. Chris? Yeah, Justin Dean, family and friends told us tonight they feel heartbroken and confused about how Anastasia was killed, allegedly because of her parents' negligence. Anastasia, we're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. Thank you for bringing a message of sorrow and remembrance tonight from family and friends. It's heartbreaking. Who are now mourning the death of one year old Anastasia Zuber. She was somebody special. You know, now she's somebody's guardian angel. The little girl's body was found by APD last week, buried in a backyard. Her parents, David DJ Zuber and Monique Romero, are now charged with her death, accused of leaving Anastasia unsupervised in a bathtub where police believe she drowned. Our whole family is just like, kind of like, like I am. Robert Wilson is DJ Zuber's cousin, a family member trying to understand how Anastasia's death happened. They're angry, they're distraught, they're confused, they're, they're heartbroken. Police say Anastasia was left in a bathtub in the family's Albuquerque apartment, while the girl's mother, Monique, was downstairs on her phone. Police also say drugs were found at the apartment. Let her cross into heaven. Guys, she was an angel. Tonight, family and friends held a candlelight vigil for Anastasia outside the Journey Fellowship Church. We're in remembrance of the child. She was a beautiful baby. You know, I know they both love their kids. I can tell you that much. But, you know, it's just, it, it, it I'm, I'm confused as to why. Well, parents Romero and Zuber have two other children together who are now in CYFD custody. Prosecutors are trying to keep Zuber behind bars through trial. A hearing is scheduled on that matter for Friday. Back to you, Jess. All right. Thank you, Chris. Today, a judge allowed Anastasia's mother, Monique Romero, out on bail and said she could see her other children during supervised visits. Romero had a court appearance where prosecutors tried to keep her behind bars. An APD detective testified there was a syringe and a pipe with meth in it found inside the family's apartment. The state says Romero was investigated by CYFD when her two-year-old child was born addicted to drugs. This afternoon, the judge ruled despite all of this, Romero is not a flight risk and ordered she undergo drug treatment.